are we expecting that uh, the government is going to empower especially young ones to do that? Yes, uh, I am aware of several projects, some by government, some by uh, external funders, where they, you know, they, they take cognizance of this issue of uh, waste disposal. You know, but then, like everything, apart from what government will do, there are things that even the individual can do. If you go in some countries now, in every office, you will see three waste or four waste baskets. There's the one that will throw paper, there's the one that will throw plastic, there's the one that will throw other things. For the simple reason, that kind of uh, classification, it makes it easier. There are people that will come and carry the plastics, and then they'll go and recycle it. There are the ones that are looking for metallic material, they'll go and recycle it. There are the ones that are looking for paper, and again, as an observer in Nigeria, you will see now, even in Nigeria, you will see iron scrap, or even thrown bottles. You will see trailers loading them from uh, Kano to Lagos, because we have some Asians now that have discovered the, you know, the, the, the economy in that industry. They take this and still that we throw away. In fact, there are countries now that they don't even have enough waste. They import waste from uh, African countries because for them, they are found of using the waste, this waste, what we call bola or whatever. There are countries that import because for them, they don't even, they have reached this uh, circular economy that they don't even have waste. There's nothing like it's waste. So they are even taking it from other countries. Things that people before will go and throw away inside the river. If you throw it inside the river, it's not going to be a problem. If you throw it inside forest, there's going to be a problem for agriculture. So what is the best way is to take it, recycle it. It gives people uh, employment. You also generate income from what you before used to be thrown away. As somebody that is close to the power in the Ministry of Environment, are you, is the ministry advocating or planning for such people that are producing that are turning waste into another thing to come over to the, this part of the north to establish? Yes, I think, like I said, I have seen some engagement between the Minister of Environment with people that are into waste disposal. What I will call on as an expert is more of such engagements. Because like I said, in everything, there is something that government can do, federal government can do, there is something that state government can do, there are things that local government can do, and there is something that even individuals can do. You get the point? So uh, it's more and more awareness. We want to see more of those interactions. I am sure we'll get there. Because uh, when you go now to all these uh, 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 meetings that we go abroad, this COP28 and the rest, these are the issues that have been there. Every country is looking for ways, you know? Uh, in fact, now, like in Ghana, they have a process now. Instead of, uh, instead of putting something like chin, chin inside a plastic bag, you get the point? Yep. Now they do containers, that the containers also are from edible material. So you eat your chin chin and then you eat the bag as well. I have seen, I have seen, <laughs> you see this, they do the bag in such a way, so there's no any plastic bags to throw away. You buy your chin chin, you eat the chin chin, even the bag is made with an edible material because of recycling, so that you eat the chin chin and then you eat the bag. Uh, coming back yes. home now, mm. I want to find out from you, do you see our current minister, Alarabi Abbas Lawa as a capable man on this seat? Well, you see, when you talk about capability, it's uh, in whatever, at the level of ministerial level, what you need is management. Management, identifying people that can do the work and then managing them. And I think from the interactions I see that he's having with stakeholders, both within government and, uh, and private stakeholders, I think he's on a good track. You know, when you identify the people that will do the work, it's a collaboration. It's not everything that he as minister can do. There are, of course, certain standards, certain policies, certain guidelines. But then, when we're talking of environment, there's a lot of uh, public sector involvement. There's a lot of uh, individual Nigerians' involvement. Even highlighting what climate change is among our young people, students, market women, you know, we need to enlighten them more because they all have a contribution they can make for Nigeria to meet its uh, climate change obligation. You know, on that climate change, every country has what is called national, nationally determined contribution. Every country is, uh, you know, releasing gases that are harmful to the environment. Experts have agreed. So all countries are needed to require what is Nigeria going to do. Nigeria has taken some commitments how it is going to do to reduce this uh, uh, gases by way of saying, but right now, Nigeria is about number 24 
out of the countries that are emitting uh, greenhouse gases and we are emitting something like 0 0.78 of what the whole world is producing. But as we go, these figures are likely to go down because the whole world now, that is what the Paris Agreement is about, about greenhouse gases, is to ensure that we reduce the emission of these gases. And as we do it, the, the earth will, will stop getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Anybody, even me and you now, you can know this year in particular, five years ago wasn't as hot this month of April, wasn't as hot. So these are things. But like I said, if you don't enlighten people, people will only complain that it is hot. But they don't interrogate, why is it hotter than April last year? Why was it hotter than April 2000? So people need to understand that it is the, the, the action or inaction of the human beings. And there's everything we can do. Cutting of trees, waste disposal, all these are issues that even at the household level we can contribute to making things better. With uh, none at all. Well, I would not like to take all the questions that may be bothering on the environment or environmental issues just at once. But I want to assure you that we will be back, I will be back to the Ministry of Environment even maybe to the minister, and to find out things about environment from the authorities in the Ministry of Environment. Till I come your way again, I'm Bimiga Olamiko. Stay tuned. Enjoy your time, enjoy your weekend, enjoy your day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, make comments, share with your friends. See you.